everyone. Welcome to St. Patrick's Day. Whoa. St. Patrick's Day 2023. Yeah. Kevin Whalen, Chris Nagel. 44th year. I was, Something I, like that. I, I, I don't know. Jack Bailey, long time ago, started this, of course, and with a bet. And uh, it's been going strong for the last uh, several years now. And just a great event for the town of Abington. So here we are today, it's Sunday, celebrating St. Patrick's Day. You get the police coming by and fire department. Fire department's kicking it off. Sorry, Kevin, didn't mean to, to uh, jump on you. I've got to get my hat because Abington Bank has given out $100. So people are wearing their hat today. I, so. I forgot my hat today. I asked Bob Kelly for one, and he said, you had to get it from Jack, so by the time I see Jack, it's going to be too late. All right, let's watch the fire department come walking through. Of course, we have Chief Nuttall, after 33 years, is retiring. Chief, not all, nothing but the best success. Absolutely. Thanks for all your service, John. Well deserved. Not only is he a good firefighter and a good chief, but he's a great guy too, Kevin. Well, Chris, if you're gonna go down, now would be a good time. <laughs> <laughs> is probably hating this moment right now. That and the fireworks. So far it's all Abington, but there's a whole line of red lights I see coming up the street. Back up ambulance here probably, right? The old school one. Remember when we kids Chris, they had the uh, they said the station wagon was the ambulance. Oh yeah. Abington is being represented here too with Whitman. I'll be able to hear myself the rest of the day, Chris. That was a long lineup. It was. Red fire. I didn't see, <coughs> excuse me, I didn't see Chief Nuttall in, his, in the car up front. Maybe he'll be the Grand Marshal, Kev. I'm not uh, even sure. Somebody has to be back at the station. That's right. You know? So, of course, I, we have a little break now until the, uh, the marches uh, catch up, but we're going to start off with the color guard of the Rockland Police in Division One. Five divisions today. It's a beautiful day, a little chilly, a little breezy, but it's uh, sunny, no weather in sight. Beautiful. Got the Grand Marshal. 
Yeah? Is Fred Villa this oh, year? Oh, that's who it is. Okay. Yeah, he's been dishing out breakfast for everyone in Abington long enough that you make him Grand Marshal, yes. I guess, right? <laughs> Longevity gets you exactly. Grand Marshal after a while. You know, so, always does a great job up there at Martin's Bakery. Mm -hmm. We are coming to you live right in front of the Frolio School here on Washington Street in Abington. Of course, some big history has happened at the, uh, you know, at the Martin's Bakery. John Kennedy, John F. Yeah. Kennedy visited up there many years ago. When you first told 50s. me that a number of years ago, I thought you were lying to me, Kev, but it's been proven. So, Sean's course, not here today. Sean is, uh... Yeah, Sean's ratings, the ratings have been down the last few years for the parade. <laughs> So, you know, they, they decided to try to mix it up to make sure this is more of a commercial success. Sean, Sean needed a little break. Yeah, Sean's just away for the weekend. Sean did send us a note saying... Yeah. Uh, yeah, he, does, he, doesn't make, he doesn't make sure we go off script. No, we have, he, he I have a, my he, note right here. He leaves a, a script for there us. There is uh, town elections on Saturday, April 29th. Races for school committee, planning board, and selectmen. Okay. The people running for selectmen are Alex Bazanson, Kevin Donovan, and Suzanne DeJustberg. So please remember that on April 29th. Uh, get out to vote. It will be at the, I don't, where is it, at the uh, ECC? No. No, is that the high school? I think it's. I think uh, it's at, I don't know where that is. I should no, it's at, the EC, it's at the Beaverbrook. Beaverbrook. Gosh, That's yeah. it. God, we sound like, you know. Silly me. I know. Beaverbrook has been the down name there the about last 10 years, years ago, and neither one of us can figure it out. You know, the good thing about the judges up here, you can look at them and you definitely know they can be bought off. That's right. You know, this is like, <laughs> this is definitely not on the upper up. It's who, like whoever probably brings the best candy, best food. You Who's know? got the best stuff to give out, they yeah. win. I mean, you know, you got Bob Kelly, you know. Bob seems to be the ringleader up there. Yeah, he's, you know. The, the, can the, you get the, Bob the, up there, Matt? The, the retired CPA. Blue coat, green hat, Abington Bank hat, looking for his... Uh, Hundred dollars from Abington Bank. That's right. So, of course, you know, Bob did my taxes for many years. Never got audited once. Nice, Kevin. No, no. Nice. So, you know. So, got a long break here. So this is going to be difficult to. Uh, we got to fill some dead air. That's I what you're saying. Where's Sean? Because Sean can Sean's just good keep at talking. dead air. He may he's be, a good filler. He's at Logan right now, so yeah, he, he would, may be streaming this on his phone. You know, he would. Go over the class ranking of the class of 23s, <laughs> like you know, graduating, where they're going to college, and all that. He, he knows everything about everybody. Uh huh. He'd already be halfway down the street mm -hmm. talking to people right now, too. He Kim. would. Well, we I both have a gift it. of gab, but it's not the same level that Sean. No, has. Sean's Sean's in a Hall of Fame level. <laughs> <It's, you know? laughs> and, and good news for uh, many people. You know, the, the, the depot will be opening up again. I did hear that. Sometime at the end of April, beginning of May, I guess. Well, that's, that's what I'm hearing. Good news to hear that. I know, so. I can also report that uh, Kathy and Tim O'Donovan are enjoying. both retired and enjoying their life down in Florida. Really happy for both of them. Kathy and Tim are wonderful people. Uh, they're boys. Yeah, well-deserved. Uh, great guys as well. Well-deserved break. Thank you for all the years of uh, fun and laughter at the depot, Kathy, if you're watching. So I'm sure they're, you know, down there in Naples, you know, they watching. Yeah, sitting on the beach. There's a pretty good chance they're not watching, but someone hopefully they will might be tell YouTube them this. And, like, you know, <laughs> making fun of us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to miss Timmy at the football games for sure. I know. Timmy was always my, my well, uh... He might be up for a few games. My fan. I hope so. He'll I hope so. It would be good to have him back. Well, we got the uh, spring sports start tomorrow, right? Is with it this tomorrow? practice with practice. So baseball will be uh, baseball. going strong. Track, yeah. tennis, lacrosse, softball, lacrosse. All those sports will be going. So I saw a baseball game going on yesterday out here on the diamond. So really? Of course, the uh, diamond has was renovated last fall, so yeah. it looks great. It's and there's beautiful. Steve Wakeland. Wow. Steve, you got the ankle well, bracelet we'll off? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going, Steve? You don't have any friends down that way, Steve. <laughs> Huge crowd as you look down Washington Street in both directions. Very large crowd today. Got Franey Refrigeration donating there the, the flatbed here for today's uh, for today's judges. 
told us this thing. I got it. Got Bud Madden over here. Hey, Bud. Bud Madden, of course, affiliated with all the high school sports. There is a big, Good long Bud, delay here. I'm doing you do hear the, how the, are you uh, getting ready for the uh, spring sports season? Police coming down the road. Uh, everybody should be uh, should be able to make some pretty good runs this year, so we'll see. You get the uh, starts tomorrow, right? For spring first day of practice. Yep, starts tomorrow. Uh, everybody gets going, so we'll see uh, we'll see where it goes from here. You know, I mean, I, I hope the uh, the talent of the uh, the baseball team can over over you know overcome the coaching of uh, Coach Paraxis. No, he does a pretty good job. I know he does. I'm joking. I, know, I, am, I, I am kidding. I'm friendly I with Steve. Yes. So. They uh, they should have a really good year again. Their uh, their their pitcher is kind of loaded, but we'll see. Uh, you know, baseball's baseball, and anything can happen. Exactly. Well, you know, it's all about getting on a run at the end of the year and being healthy, and hopefully they can make a good run. As you know, Steve always has his kids prepared. Right. Exactly. I mean, they they have solid taste in their mouth from last year, getting all the way to the final four. So. You know they're gonna have some. Uh, they're gonna have a chip on their shoulders to to get a little bit further and maybe win it. Of course, you have your nephew playing. Of course, was oh, he a junior now? He is a junior. Okay. Yes. Yeah. He uh, he's worked hard over the off season and you know he puts a lot of time and effort into it. So you know he's uh, he's now in year number three and he's had two good years for two years. But we'll see where he goes from here. It's, you know, the hard work usually pays off, and I'm, I know that I see him out there, and even in the, the winter time, when on nice days, being out there, like, you know, taking batting practice. So definitely he's uh, been gearing up for the season. He definitely has been. He gets, uh, he, he's in, the, he's in you know, working out two times a week, three times a week on lifting, and he, he does both the same, you know, pitching and hitting. You know, he's been getting in the, in the, uh, in the cage as much as he can. So, you know, his FL athletic ability comes from his mother of course right uh yes very much so because his mother was a uh all-american soccer player here at abington so yes uh the athletic athleticism definitely comes from her of course the men were good ed just his dad and, you know and sean was a good baseball player as well put big shots stuff for Gra abington back in the 90s exactly. so, awesome well thanks bud we'll see you <laughs> little update there on the abington sports team and here we got the color guard of the Rockland Police. I heard the pipe band coming right behind I this know. color guard. I know. the pipe band's coming right there. You got Sutherland Pipe Band, over 80 years old, from Natick, is uh, coming in right behind the Rockland Police Color Guard. Rockland Color Guard in step and in time. Job I Thank you, Rockland gentlemen. Police. Two, Thank you, gentlemen, for coming out. Rockland Police Color Guard. Let's see over on our, how many pipe bands we're going to have in the. Uh, I didn't is count. It on, <laughs> is it on Fandle? I feel like there's been more commercials for Fandle. They probably would have a line and on this. Every single time I turn on a local station. I hmm. think I see a FanDuel commercial. He probably had a line on whether Sean Riley was going to be here at the parade <laughs> today. You know what time he would get he, here. Yeah, what yeah. time he would get here and prepare. But, you know, but thank goodness the Sutherland, Sutherland's pipe band is here. As I said, from Natick. 80 years strong and still sound great. I do like a pipe band. Except at your funeral, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice job by the Sutherland Pipe Band from Natick. And of course, next we have the Grand Marshal Fred Villa. Fred being driven around in a relatively new Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, from all the windows out, all the Top off, doors off. Well, I know, that might be for Midway, right? That might be for Grand Marshal Fred Villa, there he is. 
No one gets up earlier than Freddie Villa. Fred makes it happen. And of course, we have some selectmen here. Some selectmen coming Alex through this, Alex. And Prizio. Hi, guys. The town manager, Alex Haggerty. Yeah. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Here's John Buckley. Here's John Buckley. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Here's John Buckley. There's John. Yeah, nice to see John again. Selectman Chapin is there as well. Abington and Youth. Oh, I didn't see that. It was Stump, uh, town manager Scott Lambiese and registrar of deeds, ladies. John Buckley. But we got the Abington football and cheerleaders here. So here's midget, the football team. Midget there. football team. Midget. Super Bowl champs. Super Bowl champs last year. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Abington Sweet. Youth football. football and Cheer registration is now open. Is he going to join? I am. I think I got. You think I you might gotta, make the weight limit. You got like year. one year of eligibility yeah. left. <laughs> COVID year. You got a COVID year coming. So um, I've been slowing well, down, a, Kev. I may be able to make the weight this year. Yeah. Got a great accomplishment though by the midgets of winning the Super Bowl Fantastic. championship last well year. Well done. Congratulations, yeah, boys. Got some great kids coming up for the uh, to the <laughs> high school. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank uh, you. So now we've got the. Uh, this is looks like. Sullivan Tire Sullivan banner. Sullivan Tire. Is that right? Yeah, looks, that's what it says, I think. Uh oh. Plush hair does This is, wait. I don't know. A little mix up here. There is Plush a little. Plush hair design. Here we go. I like the music. From playing. Whitman? Yeah. Woo! Marble Street in Whitman. I'm going to tell Sean his notes are off. I know. He's like, you know, some demerits there. He's messing with us again. He's not even here, and he's messing with us, Kev. Well, we got the Sullivan Tires here every year. They're, you know they're going to be here. Mm. How was Bud Madden doing, Kev? I didn't hear Bud, anything Bud you guys Bud is doing very well. He's all excited for the spring season, and you know, especially baseball. Bud is always a big help he's to all things something Abington about how sports. he thinks the baseball team will overcome the coaching this year. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have put those words in his mouth. I, I don't know. Like, you know, Coach Paraxels is watching this. So I know he is. He's going to be driving down to take Bud out in a minute. No, I, I, he knows I'm kidding. That's humor right there. He knows I'm joking. Bud and Steve are good friends. So here's Sull mm -hmm. Sullivan Tire coming up the... Uh, did you congratulate Bud and Ami on her on their new baby? Oh, I didn't even know. They have a new baby, Christopher, oh. I believe. Well, of course, so, that's Bud's real name is yes. Christopher. So, wow, congratulations, Bud. I didn't know congratulations, that. Congratulations, Bud and Ami. Mm. Welcome to the world of parenting. Oh, boy. Didn't what take right. long for my hair to go white, Bud, after I had my first one, so. Yeah, well, you know, the grandchildren are, are fun, but I was up at 5 this morning. <laughs> A six and four year old. We're so excited to be over our house. That, I'm sure. You know, Guapo and Mamie's house that they, uh, you know. Oh, they call you Guapo. Nice. Guapo, I like yeah. that. Yeah, handsome. I mean, they, they kids are smart. Right? Uh, <laughs> and bilingual, and you know. Is that the, the literal translation? It's of handsome. Guapo? Yes. Really? Guapo is handsome. Okay. So if you put an L before it, it means the handsome one. I'm gonna check that, Kev, because that's not exactly what I heard, but yeah. that's okay. Yeah, that's what, you know, that's, well, Rich Gassis, who was the Red Sox reliever, was very. I know that that's what they called him. Yeah, because yeah. he was very homely. That, that's why they <laughs> called him El Guapo as a joke. Uh, Here is the Sullivan Tire banner, it, right. as Kevin was saying. Sullivan Tire. They can fix tires in any language. Yes. You know, they've been well around done, a long ladies. time. Of course, Sullivan Tire, did you know where that chain started? Rockland, Mass. Right on Union Street there. Yeah, yeah right on Union Street. Yes, sir. Used to sell used tires back in the way back when. And, and here we go. The next group up after is the Highland, Highland Light. Light. Band. Highland Light since 1978. Started at Dennis Yarmouth High School. It's the oldest pipe band on Cape Cod. Named after Highland Light in Truro in honor of Highland Light Scottish Infantry. The Highland Light. Band. Well, a great job. We got the Rockland Trust. Great job there by Highland Light. We got Highland. Rockland Trust coming up here. 
candy everywhere, Kev. Candy, it's like they're known as the candy parade, I think, <laughs> right? Um, it should be sponsored by the dentistry, like Association <laughs> of the South Shore or something here. You know, get the kids to be able to have to come in for their cavities after this parade. Mm. Here we go, Rockland Trust. And this is Lucky, Lucky Seven Triple Barn Grill right on Route 139, right beside Hall of More. Yep. And they got some music playing Lucky too. Lucky Triple Sevens. It's been over there a few years now, right over the Abington line. Ooh. Big crowd for Lucky Sevens. Crowd. It is a triple, triple sevens, a big crowd. Thank you very much. Thank you, St. Patrick's Day. And we got the rotary coming up with Jim Prizio. Jim driving once again. He made it sound like he just got his license back. No. <laughs> like, you know, once again, in the parade, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Jim on the unicycle, though, I can tell no. you that, Kevin. Well, I, I hope not. Yeah, here he goes. Uh-oh, going to ask him to toss it. Here he goes. He's going to get set up here. Right in here front of us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here he goes. Oh, whoa, he hey! Made it. Woo. That's talent. Nice job. Have a nice job there. Well done. Right on camera, right on cue. The unicycle is <laughs> Jonah Balin. Jonah Balin is the uh, unicycler there. And now we have Trufant. Trufant Real Estate. Start packing when you list with Trufant. Of course, Eric Wilson. Just Here we have uh, William Diamond Jr. Fife and Drums. I'll let you read that little note, Kev. Uh, the William Diamond, formed in 2001 in Lexington, Mass. The William Diamond Jr. Fife and Drum Corps consists of young people ranging from the ages of 8 to 18, use six Whole wooden fight and tension drums. All, all just as young yeomen and would look in, as they would look in 1775 and have performed in Ireland, England, Switzerland, Disney World, New York City, and now Abington, Mass has been added to that. They just completed list. their list, Kevin. I think you gotta put in today. You gotta put Abington because <laughs> alphabetically it would be like first. So. Here we have the Model T Club. Of course, the Model T, this is pretty cool stuff. Bunch of Aruga horns. You know, Wolf because whistle. Abington has been confused with New York City a lot, hasn't it, in the past? And Disney World. I mean, we do have a post office, so. <laughs> the paddy wagon. Love it. Here we go. 1912. Wow. Here we go. That's some nice old cars here. Much better day to be driving these guys today in the nice know, cool weather than open. on July 4th. No one really runs the risk of overheating on a day like this, Kevin. Hopefully not. Yeah. Those cars, a lot of them, you know, obviously are close to 100 years old now. Yeah. Probably most of them are 100 years old. And they look better than you and I, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. It's really cool. Nicely done. That's a, this is Nicely probably the done. oldest car there, right? That is looks 1915. 1915. Wow, look at that. That's a nice shape too. I know it is keep a great it up shape. Nice. Well done. The old Colony Motor Club, Model T Club. There we go. Nice job there. Let me get the. Oh, we got. I think it's. They say Black Bear is coming up. I hear Mr. Carini screaming away. It looks like Kenny Coyle coming right in front of us. So that is what. Abington celebrates St. Patrick's Day Parade. Here we go. Ken Coyle, Kenny former Coyle. selectman. Absolutely. Manager down Trukies. I think he's in corporate offices now. Is he? Yes. So there's Ken. Proud graduate of the class Hello, of 1978. Abington celebrates fireworks. I know, fireworks. Fireworks in June, Can you say? What is Abington celebrates usually the second Saturday in June? In June, yeah. And it's a blast. Here and comes here. Blackbeard. Blackbeard. You could donate here to Abington, Abington Day, Founders Day, for the fireworks. And here we go. Wow, we've got them one after another here. This is where it's wow. really starting to pick up, Chris. We've got a little bit of everything coming down the street now. 
Blackbeard, I think they do, what do they do? The, uh, the sealing? The seal coat, they seal do coat. estate sales. They'll make your world black. Right? I mean, yeah. you know. There we go. Mike, Mike is a great guy. Who wants to join the pirate crew? Oh, maybe. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Look at this good looking pirate crew right here. There we go. We're shipping out to Boston. Well done, go. Mike Carini and Blackbeard. That's the loudest float so far, Kev. I know it. That is. The that was awesome. Loudest. And here we go. We got the gut throws. Always look at this. Gut throw plumbing and heating. Always deck out. Go. I love the look at look that. at that. Huh? Is that the, the coolest thing? Rainbow. I love that. Spectacular. A golden throne, Chris. I love that. Did they get up that out of your house? <laughs> It's, it's just pumping water right to the front of the truck. That could be the best thing that, in the float. That time. is. Oh, you spent some time there. There's Guthrow Plumbing. That's pretty funny. And what do we got out to Guthrow well Plumbing done. there? DCF, DCF Plymouth. Plymouth. Uh, people that do great work there. Foster Love care and, and family. foster families of uh, Plymouth County. Just wonderful work. This Whitman KFC. Whitman KFC. Thank you the, all for joining us. At the. We got some uh, New Hampshire pipes and New Hampshire uh, pipes and drums coming here. Chris, you can read the Scottish yeah. Pipe and Drum Band there. New Hampshire Pipes, Scottish Pipe and Drum Band from Manchester, New Hampshire, formed in 2002. Members from the fifth grade to professional. In 2018, the band was crowned as the grade four New England champions at the New Hampshire Highland Games under the direction of pipe major Campbell Webster. Today, the New Hampshire Pipes and Drums remains the premier pipe band of New Hampshire. All the way down here in Abington. Cool to have them in town, Kev. It is, absolutely. All these, the, you know, bands, it's amazing, you know, the talent that uh, Jack Daly is able to get here into this parade every year. The fact that Jack started this whole thing in on a bet. On just a, a simple, like a $5 bet, I don't remember all the, the rules, but and it's been going for 40 plus years. It's just fantastic. And Jack, the first few years, it was just driving around on St. Yeah. Patrick's Day. It was more of a, I think, a caravan. Yeah. And now look what it's turned into. It's a two-hour parade. Right, right. It's a fantastic. Huge parade. Bands, pipe bands, marching bands, police, fire, Blackbeard. Just listen to the New Hampshire pipes and drums. Nice job. Well done, well done. Again, from fifth grade to professional. Fantastic. So Rockstar Tan is up next. Perry Moriarty, this is the truck here. They have a green something or other in the back of the truck, Kevin. I can't quite tell what it is from here. I think, is that the Grinch? I thought it was. Is that the Grinch? Might be the Grinch. I was down in Florida and they had this uh, like 10 foot Hulk. I think it was massive. Real, like Hulk Hogan? Like, like, Hulk yeah, Hogan. like Hulk, Hulk, like the uh, Hulk, yeah. The Hulk. I was standing by and I looked at the yeah. uh, price tag, it was $61,000. It was actually 68, but they said they would take 60. I'm pretty sure they'd probably take 40. But Abington Garden Club Abington right here? Abington Garden Club. It's always green at the Abington yeah, Garden always, Club, right? Always, always green. Things are coming up green all the time. <laughs> Kevin, bunch it's of not people just Sean green that thumbs. has the funny one-liners, you know? <laughs> These were all off the top of my head. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's what makes them even funnier, Kev. It's like I'm listening to Wakeland all over mm -hmm. again. Mm. This is Ireland's own landscape. That's what it says next in our program. Three Ireland's trucks. 
Three trucks, wow. Should they do a nice job? Do you think they can do like diagonal as well as kind of crisscross? <laughs> or you, what do you what do you think they they do, what do they just focus to, on? Just to make themselves a little bit different. Yeah. Nice. There we poppers. go. Island's own landscape. Well done. Abington Mass. Well done. There we go. Oh, I like it. You got the nice equipment there. Do you need your yard cleaned up, spring fall cleanups, lawn installations, renovations? You call. Island's well own done. landscape. There well we go. Done. Beautiful job there. Nice rainbow. Balloons there. Nice job. They got their own St. Patrick on a mower in the back. That was a nice touch. It I like the nice little, little things. Like, I did too. That was nice. Yeah. Nice job by them. Got a little candy now. I, I can't eat the candy, Kev. You can, I'm not I like can't that. bend down to pick it up. Well, yeah. I mean, those days are over. Yeah. You know. There was days I would just dive on it. Yeah, I can't do the, the snap and bend anymore. <laughs> the bend and snap anymore, Chris. <laughs> Both of us are going to need that ambulance that just went exactly. by, Kev, if that's the case. Exactly. We got the Hutchinson's flower van here. So, you know, birthdays and any yeah, special occasion. Absolutely. Of course, Hutchinson's been around forever Hutchinson's there. Hutchinson's on, up uh, on Hancock, Street. Hancock Street. Yep. Hancock Street, yeah. Nice job. That was some great work. I'm surprised Quailies doesn't have a float. Chris. Hi, honey. Thank you ah. very much. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Of course. J.P. Ryan's always has a great, uh, great band. Oh, yeah. Imagine. Here we go. Do you think if, like, Quailies had a float, it should be at the end? <laughs> when you're finished? <laughs> Let's just call it quits right there. <laughs> and There's I like Matt, the music too. Matt Hindley, owner, operator. GP oh. Ryan. Hey Brian, Brian Webb, of course. I can listen to that song for the next hour, Kevin. Okay? Oh, no. I could too. Casey Movers. Casey Movers, yeah. I, I think that's it's kind of unusual it. to have a. Uh, it's tough to find an uplifting Irish song. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but Mike Carini was playing this one too. I need, I, know. To, I need to change my page when I got my gloves I know, on. I know. I'm like <laughs> trying to change my page. We got I'll a little right bit back, of a break Kev. here as we go to page two. We got Elf here coming up. Thank you. There's Elf. I'm in Abington and I'm singing. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry yeah, Christmas. Know. And every, just, just remember, know. Santa's always watching. That's good. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy St. Patrick's Some Day. Some of these kids are crazy. They think it's St. Patrick's Day. Exactly. It's Christmas. always Christmas. Every day there is Christmas. Merry Without. Christmas, everyone. And, of course, at the top of this Division Two, we've got the color guard, the U.S. Veterans Vietnam Era. Post 2 pickup Post truck. Post 2. Of course, Sergeant Richard A. Phipps, cha Fitz chapter. Thank you for your service, yeah, gentlemen well, and ladies. Richard Phipps was uh, missing in action for many years. I think yeah. they finally found his remains many years after, of course, and nice tribute that they've named the uh, after his uh, after Richard Phipps and his sacrifice for the country. Here we go. The next Ed and Eileen Walsh. Sponsoring the uh, a banner there. The so Ed was a uh, they were they were from the uh, old country and they, they I think they lived up on Washington Street here, right at the start of the parade. As well as in Germany, Ireland, and Canada. Today, the band consists of about 50 members, both veterans and civilians, ranging in age from teens to 90s, hailing from Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Rhode Island. Is Al Donaghy. Mr. Donaghy, how you doing? Korean War vet. 
Al Donaghy. Harriet Road, Al Donaghy. I, I have to go. I'll believe you, Kev, because I don't know him. I'm sorry to say. Al's a great guy. I'm still a newcomer in town. He's actually a great runner back in his day. Really? Yeah, he was a very good runner. St. Bridget School is up next. <laughs> Here we go. St. Bridget School trucking you to get to some walkers. You have to do that to me when I'm on, right? Happy St. Patrick's Day, Happy Father. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I got a blessing today. That's great. Did you? It's nice, yeah. A little blessing there. Gave it to me. <laughs> They didn't give it to me. They gave it to me because all the services that we take. Okay. Nice. Nice. I work at a monastery. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. You get blessed quite a bit, I'm sure. I do. I have more than enough. Do they figure that into your compensation? Yes. Like take like money away. As a matter of fact. Yeah. I figure like, hey, you know, you get, you know, internal salvation. What is that worth? That is, yes. You can't put a price on that. Well, you do great work over there at the Abbey over Thank in you. Hingham. Thank you. Yeah. Glastonbury on Hull Street in Hingham. And of course, we have Paul Haggerty here. Been there since 1954. This, 19, the Abbey 1954, yeah. Really? Wow. So you got St. Bridget's. Paul Haggerty here is actually with the St. Bridget's float. Gonna, can't slow down the parade, though. There's demerits yeah, for that. Like, you know, you got to keep it moving, Paul. He's stopping the whole parade. No, he did. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, Paul. Paul. And here we go. The next per next uh, group up here is the St. Vincent Food Pantry. They're Paul, don't, a, don't worry about the, holding up the, the parade, parade, Paul. Yo, yeah, the Paul Kevin Whalen, how are you? Paul, happy St. Patrick's, 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 Patrick's Day, Paul. Happy St. Patrick's Day. You too. Um, here we go. This is probably one of the most exclusive parochial schools on the South Shore here, St. Bridget's. Yes, I've it heard is. that. Over on I Pittle have. Yes. So exclusive that I couldn't get in. <laughs> <laughs> For other reasons, though, Kevin. Exactly. Yes, he's the best. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Happy St. Patrick's Day and a good crowd of all the parents here. Parents everywhere. Parents are Very parents good. galore. How's yeah, the we walk? We're turning people away. It's that. Yeah, I know. Wow. It's that, it's that part. Yeah, wow. Exactly. It's a tough game. Well, I Paul, we'll that. see you soon, I hope. This is with St. Vincent as well. And then yeah. St. Vincent de Paul. St. Vincent de Paul. I know. It's like the, a plethora of like St. Bridget's there. We got Mac McPhail, the Eastern yeah. Cedar riding there for the St. Bridget School. I got to say, there's a different feel, a different vibe without a certain somebody not here. Well, ratings were down. That's why he's not here. There's a lot of, yeah. you guys bring him in. There's, there's a there lot is. of pleasantries <laughs> here, Paul. The St. Vincent de Paul, they do a lot of great work. If you uh, want to donate fantastic, to them, it's always will accept donations. Community. Goodbye, Paul. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Well, and we are uh, glad to report that Dairy Queen is here up next. Thank God. I believe they're open. They too, are Kev. open. They opened up a little bit later. They used to open up in February. It was March this year. So Was it really? Like, yeah. I thought they were open early, they, they but I could be the, wrong. They were opened up in March, which is like, you know, still good, though. I'm known to bring Jeff my daily bars to my grandchildren. So... I am. If a, I don't bring him this. I, I am a big fan. The so, DQ pick up there, and now we got the uh, column kill. Cape Cod pipes and drums. Well, they, Sean has a little right up there. He does. And another Cape Cod. Sean, there, Sean. But then he said the other people from Cape Cod were the best. I'm like a little confused as far as which one. But Sean, not... Sean call, uh, texted me this morning and said, make sure you say it's Colm Kill. Colm Kill, okay. Yes. It, was an, uh, it was an Irish prince and warrior who became a priest and scholar. An Irish saint who brought Christianity to Scotland during the 6th century. He spread faith, knowledge, and culture through Europe from his monastery on the island of Iona. Here's our friends at Abington Bank. Here we go, Abington Bank. Hi, I'm, guys. I'm wearing my hat. Where's the love? <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, hey, Sarah. How are we doing? I know. Hi, guys. I'm good, thank you. No, thank you. Good, thank you. Happy St. Patrick's Bank, Day, always guys. A great part of the institution. Kevin oh, gets oh, it. $100. Kevin, <laughs> well done. <laughs> I, I think you're going to well be okay done. being on social media. I'll be okay being on social. For a hundred bucks. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. 
Kevin. Thank you. Kevin, yeah, Kevin Whalen, yeah. South Shore Taekwondo. <laughs> South Shore well, Taekwondo. Right. South Shore Taekwondo, wow. Yeah, there we go. Uh -oh. There's a partner's fee too, Kev. Oh my goodness. I think that's just my the last first page. I know you didn't lose your hundred dollar thing, Kev. I know. Well done, Kevin. I'll collect my 50 later. Exactly. Abington Don pa Dog Park. Gotta Representatives. There we go, the dog park. They were another thing that's a, a wonderful asset to the town that's been built over the last few years. Absolutely. I didn't want to get in the middle of that taekwondo, Carissa. though. Those, those kids were like Heather. Oh, look. Okay, we got, let me see. Taekwondo, Friends of the Dog Hi, Park, Cullivan Landscape here. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to Cullivan Landscape. Big crew in the back of the truck. I know it. They got a big gang there. Nice you know. job. I don't know about the child labor laws here, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of little kids up there, Kev. Kev. Cullivan Love Landscape. It. And here we go, the Girl Scouts. Ro Abington, Rockland, and Hanover Girl Scouts. It's girl. They're still selling their Girl Scout cookies, I'm sure. I will say that I purchased a couple of three, what's, four, what's five your boxes. I like the uh, whatever the coconut caramel. Oh, you like the cream caramel, oh, the caramel man. delights. Caramel delights. That's yeah. it. Love it. I brought them home, and my son said to me, "That's what you got." And the lemon cookie. He says, where's the Thin Mints? Yeah. I, I used to be a big Thin Mint fan. I am a Thin Mint, but there's nothing I, make, I like they em. don't make you thin, though. That's the only problem. That's right. <laughs> yeah, but I do like them. I keep trying to get thin, so I eat one sleeve at a time. Uh, you know, the caramel delights I like. But, I you do know, like they, those. But, you know, I I can see the criticism over the lemon, lemon ones. I definitely see I love see the lemon. Come do you? On. I'm not like a big lemon guy. I love lemon, period. You know, so. uh, and there's the Girl Scout my. My granddaughter Claire is actually a uh, Girl Scout down in uh, Marshfield. Down in Marshfield. Is she I think selling she cookies yet? Brownie. <coughs> I think she's a brownie. Actually. So she yeah. hasn't quite graduated to the cookie sales. No, no. She, actually, no. They don't. They make them. They make them sell the cookies. We made. We made her like actually ask. What we made us give? We made her give us the sales pitch. Nice. You know. So. So. I think Haggerty is holding up the, the uh, traffic Haggerty. It's again. all Haggerty's fault. I can't see him down there, I've but I'm, that. I'm sure it is. He's talking to someone. I know. The, the poor guy right behind him. So, I think we, we should go the, interview the, the Girl Scouts, Kev. I could do that. All right. I'm going to ask. So here we have the, the Girl Scouts and Brownies. So. How, do you, how are you enjoying the parade today? Having a good time? Yes. Yeah. Did you guys have, how many cookies did you sell? A lot? Um, a lot. A lot. We sell the whole lot, that we the, don't know. Yeah. So what, what, are you, what was the biggest favorite of people? Which one, what cookie was the most favorite? Um, I think... Thin the, mints? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, thin mints are always good, right? Yeah. So good. Well, thank you for being in the parade today, guys. We appreciate it. Have a good time. It sounds like Thin Mints, Chris, were like was the big seller. It's always the big seller. Yeah. And I get it. Yeah, you gotta get a big glass I'll, of milk though with uh, yeah, the Thin Mints, I'm right? I'm not gonna turn it down. Yeah. Be nice if they offered us a couple, Kev. I know, you would have thought, like, you know, I did a little plug the, there. The two of us are withering away to nothing here, Kev. Yeah. Well, you know, that's the problem with seven-year-olds. They don't get the new nuance of like, you know, what we're trying to do there. Like, you know, maybe, you know, provide a little samples, you know? But, uh-oh, careful. Here we go. We got a huge Girl Scout contingent That's here, a though. big crowd. It's very impressive. I know, it, I know it's quite a few towns, but I am very impressed with how many Girl Scouts are here. And well after the Girl Scouts, we have, let me see, we have yeah, the band, band is the Rockland Rockland High, School. High School, the Bulldogs. Wow. The Bulldogs. <laughs> they always do a great job here. The old East Abington. <laughs> Rockland Bulldogs. Rockland Bulldogs. High school marching band. Nice job. Nice job, Rockland. Well done, well done. Williams Energy. I like the old truck, Kev. I know it. That's pretty cool. I think they're in Braintree, right? But they're all over. Yeah. They, they deliver I'm not sure. 
I think I can't really tell. I can't read right? that. <laughs> I can see it until afterwards. <laughs> I think they're all over those. Since yeah. 1919, 104 years they've been serving this area. Williams. That's cool. They've been around waste? so long, it used to be coal and ice probably yeah. that they used to deliver, right? We got Troop here. Troop out of Abington. And you know what, Chris, at the end of here, it's like we have our notes here. Annual town meeting is Monday, April 3rd. Yes. 7 p.m. Abington High School the... Auditorium. We need at least 150 voters to attend. Check the town website for more info. Keep going, Chris, we got to change pages. www.abingtonma.gov. Here we go. Look at that. This is Oliver Ames, I believe, Kev. I, can't, I don't have, I can't even turn my Civil page yet. Civil, Civil Lake. Lake. Civil Lake. Civil Lake. Old Collie Hunt. Silver Lake here. And we got Lynch's towing coming right up here. Nice job by Lynch's. If it was Oliver Reeves, I was going to say congratulations to my, my nephew. They won the state championship in soccer. All the area is a member of that team. So we've got the Silver Lake. No, thank you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We're a little bit out of like. So we got, let me see. Lynch's is here. All right, we're just going to have to wait till they come by, Chris, to announce them here because it looks okay. like. This is Harbor One, right? Lynch's towing is towing Harbor One. This is, oh, this right? is Harbor One. Okay, yeah. all right. That's Lynch's towing. Oh, you know, we did. We, we're missing a pipe. So Harbor One must have loaned money to the Lynch's <laughs> to buy the truck. Is that what it is? That's a good taste. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So, you know, if you, any of your financial business needs, but I gotta be careful because I got the hundred bucks from Abington Bank. So yeah, I gotta, yeah, I but you know, Abington, off, like, yeah, Abington Bank as well can definitely take care of your needs. Uh oh. So I'll be up tonight. Here we go. Whitman Cub Scouts here. Trailer, so that's nice job. Little like, look at that little camping terrain. I like little that. Fire. I like that yeah. fire, Chris. It is. It uh, looks very nice real. Little, Happy nice little St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye. The Cub Scouts. From Happy St. Patrick's Day. Well done. The Abington Highway Department looks like they're up next here. Here we go. The DPW. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I think we had, we were a little bit out of, uh, we were, we had out a little, of order. Yeah. It took me all this time to figure that out, Kevin. I know. Happy St. Patrick's Sixth Day. Day to the DPW. Thanks for all you do. Abington DPW, thank you. Thanks for all you do. <laughs> you know, it was amazing how, you know, I didn't have any snow on my, like, driveway or even no. my, in my street this year. They did such a great job. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they kept the temperature up too, Kev, which is even better. Whoa, look at this. That's this cool. is McBarrett's Haunted Mansion. I feel like McTales, I'm watching the Munsters all McTales, over again, Kevin. Magic Mountain Haunted Mansion, Haunted House. Barrett's Look Haunted at Mansion. Look Love at it. that. Uh, get the casket going on. <laughs> here we go. We got all the players here. Of course, Mary Barrett does a great job with Absolutely. the uh, running that every year. Great job. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Day, everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Okay. That guy doing the pogo thing, Abbott Canal House here. And here we go. With Boy Scouts Troop 41 and Cub Scouts Pack 41. There's Aaron. Chris Schultz, health agent. Here comes the Pack 41 Cub Scouts right behind the Boy Scouts. Go, Happy St. Patrick's go Day. Go Pack 41. And here we go, a little pot of gold. Look at that, a little rainbow. Nice. Did some Pack decorating with the doing floor. a nice job. Uh, here we go. Next up, Joe's Crazy Critters. Nice. From Abington. From Abington, Joe Kenny. He's always done a great job. You too. Happy St. Patrick's Happy Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's K2 Transportation. Was that Kevin in the front seat? I didn't even see him. Yeah, I don't know. That's a... K2 Transportation. If you need a ride to 
Logan, where are you going to in concert? K2 Transportation. Abington High School Marching Band. Let's listen to the Green Wave Pride. New uniform. Yeah. Nice Brand job. Brand new uniforms Brand for the Green uniforms. Wave Marching Band. More numbers too, Chris. Like, nice like job. It. Numbers are up, Kev. Yeah. Nice job. Abington High School Marching Band. Mr. Blanchett, Charlie Blanchett, Charlie I believe, Blanchett. is still I'm doing that. Directing away? Yeah, yeah. Charlie's a great guy. Charlie is a great guy. They do a, do a wonderful job at the high school between Absolutely. Charlie and Steve Shannon. They do a wonderful job. I mean, if you haven't gone to any of the plays up there, they, he really does a fabulous job with all the kids. Unbelievable. I did not get to it this year. I was kicking myself. I, I wasn't around to get to make those days. I wish Mr. Wakeman was here because okay. I tell him now Abington is uh, going to be a coastal town because they've brought the boat here, so we'll all be safe this well, afternoon. Well, that's the uh, the Brookfield Yacht Club. We have having our regatta down here at the. I've been Brook waiting for that invite, the, Kev. At the end of Brookfield Road, the Brookfield Yacht Club. You can. Uh, we're open for men. We have some. Uh, we have some moorings that are available down there. <laughs> you know, it's Extreme Abington's oldest yacht auto. club. Extreme Auto Marine Repair. Look at that. Happy St. Patrick's Day. That's cool. Hey. <laughs> cool. And a land shark, Kev. A land shark. Look at that. Just huh? a dolphin, ma'am. That looks like that might be tough to walk in for a couple miles. Yeah. Look at that. Nice boat, though. Like That's that. cool. That's extreme auto. And I can hear we go. Coming up is the sarcastic swine. Looks like they're coming up. They do a nice job with their I was, barbecue. I was actually just talking about this the other day at work that I've been, I've had a hankering for some uh, brisket. Have you? And oh yeah. man, their food is delicious. Their food is, they do a nice job. Yeah, really, really nice. Right on 139. 120, no, Route 18, right next to I'm sorry, right Route 18 and 139. Fire station. The old Louis Pizza place, right? Right, exactly. They do a nice job. I wish they had some brisket handouts, Kev, don't you? I know. The sarcastic the swine. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Sarcastic swine. Route 18 in Abington. Mark yeah. I know. Kevin Whalen, how you doing? I, his uh, father is a uh, member at the Country Club. Oh. So that's how it's, uh, the Brookfield Country Club? No, no, no. The, the one I actually make money yeah, at. Right. I'm at the Yacht Club down that's here. I'm the right. Commodore down here. So thanks. Sioni's Landscape. Sioni's Landscape. I always do a great job. Fantastic. Yep. So many different selections of... Advanced installation. Oh, yeah, great insulation. They do a great job. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. And their horn works. They'll, they'll, they'll keep you warm. They'll keep you warm all winter long. <laughs> Advanced green insulation. Here we I'm go, not sure man. where they are, Kev. I don't know where they're located. This, but. this is the... Is it Tlush hair design? Must be Lush, uh, right? Lush hair design? Didn't, didn't they already go by? I don't I know. I thought they is, went by. Oh, did they go by? Yeah. Okay, I don't know. Pick a party. This must be pick a party place. Pick a party Happy place. St. Patrick's Day. Look at that. Yep, that's what it is. Pick a party. Stay and play children's museum. Yeah. We're in to pick a party. I have to take my glove off. I know, we're whipping through these though. They're wow. going very fast. So that was. Now we go to Division 4. How do they break up the divisions? What, how do you do I, that? I, What's the. Know, who, who decides who goes where? I don't know. Who's think, the kickoff? I don't, I don't know. know. I think the gut throws are tough to beat, though. That's right. That is Come on with the golden toilet. Yeah, the golden that was toilet. very funny. <laughs> You know. That had to be one of the best I've I, seen I in a long time. I only thought the Nagels had a golden toilet. Yeah. I didn't know there was another one out there, Chris. <laughs> and the best part was it was flushing right onto the windshield. Exactly. Loved that. You know, talk Sean about, has no idea what he's missing, Kevin. He doesn't. He does. He doesn't. You know, it's like, you know, he made other choices, Chris. He does. Yeah, yeah, you know. know. So we got the, it looks like the, what, 
This Brockton is... Fire and Pipes are coming up next. Yeah. But we have I don't know who the uh, costume character is. Mm. Now, I could really use some brisket right now, Kev, I just could... to let you know. Well, I got a hundred bucks. We can go down <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> and... Do you think they'll take that? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Brockton Fire pipes and drums you can hear in the background. Yeah, they, what a nice job they do every year. Get some characters here. Look at that little Paw Patrol. Is that Ch Chase? Is it Chase? Uh, Paw Patrol. It's definitely Paw Patrol. Yeah. And of course, Minnie oh, yeah. Mouse. I'll get that. You know? Minnie Mouse making Minnie her Mouse. way down the street. I've learned all kinds of little kids' cartoons, Chris, over the last few years. Have you? They've been here many, many years, the Brockton Fire Department. Well done, Brockton Fire, pipes and drums. Um, Mary Lou's coffee, if, you, if, you're, not, if you're feeling that you uh, need, a, need a little jolt in the morning, here yeah. we go, Mary Lou's coffee, they can... Whoa, I whoa, have, wow. holy cow. Payday here, Kevin. I know it, my God. <laughs> my grandkids would love that. Look at the little kid, like, throwing it out. Look at this. Look at this from Mary Lou. Watch it. <laughs> what an arm on that kid. <laughs> Tommy Rusk. T.R. Rusk, landscape out of Rockland. East Abington, right, Kev? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the puppy. I know, a little dog. Oh, that's a beautiful dog. Yeah. Two little dog. Hey, how you doing, Cindy? Good to see you. Happy St. Cindy Ferguson Rest. There you go. How you doing? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody in Abington. I'm with my family. I know. I knew it was. I'm like looking for you there. Good to see you. That's Timmy Ferguson's sister. Oh, no kidding. I graduated with uh, Cindy back wow. in 1979. Uh, Abington Cultural Council. And up next is the Cosmo Legion Band from Brockton. I feel like they've been coming forever too, Kev. The Abington Co Cultural Council, that must be short meetings, right? <laughs> And we'll, we'll we skip about... right on to the roller derby. <laughs> <laughs> Brockton Bruisers roller derby. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I, I couldn't. You I couldn't let that. it go, I could you? I couldn't <laughs> let it go, Kevin. It popped in, I just uh -huh. had to let it go. We got the roller derby. Thought comes in, comes out. Right, all in one exactly. motion. Brockton Bruisers. The Brockton Bruisers. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Wow, wow look at that. So I bet you could like do the whip and stuff way back in the day, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the roller derby. Kevin, me <laughs> on a pair of roller skates is not going to happen. I'll tell you right now. And it's happy St. Patrick's Day, ladies. Rockton Bruises roller derby. Well, for kids, they don't know what they're missing. Back in the day when we were kids. Oh man. Saturdays they had roller derby on all the time. Uh huh. It was quite a. On TV. Yeah, it was always on TV. That's that crazy. candle pin bowling was like <laughs> constant back in the. <laughs> Don Gillis was hosting exactly on Channel Don Five. Happy the guy at the Country Day. Club. McLaughlin he worked Chevrolet. For in the bowling alley. Donnie Richmond is actually in the Hall of Fame, the, the candle pin really? Hall of Fame. Yeah. Happy St. Patrick's hey, Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Here we go. Okay, Abington, Abington Copes. Thank you very much. There Happy St. Patrick's Day. Mac towing. There we go, the 5K. I don't know, what, what is that? The That was the Brockton Brewers, McLaughlin Chevrolet. Oh, Mac Enterprise Ramp Truck, there we go. Yeah. There we go, that's a nice job by them. Very festive. I'd like to thank Kevin Tarchi, Matt, Nelson. Matt Lyons, Matt and Lyons. Matt Nelson. Matt Nelson is flying the drone today. It's awesome. Well done, thank you Matt both Lyons Matt and always. Kevin. Live the camera. And we're live streaming as well. 
Kevin yelled at me because we were live streaming and I was talking on a hot mic. He took it away. I had to go to the principal's office, Kev. I know. Double some demerits there. Uh, where are we, Kev? Well, Legacy is... 24, is that who this is? I, this is... Happy St. Patrick's Day. Legacy, the... Everyone that... the hey, Happy... here we go. Oh. Don't make us go down there and get it. Come on. The motorcycle. Little awareness there. Think yeah. twice. You know, make sure you check twice. Save a life. Motorcycles. What were you saying uh, about guys my age riding a motorcycle, Kev? Huh? Sh probably shouldn't be done. <laughs> yeah. No, trying to be cool. Old guys trying to be, be cool. cool. Is that yeah, what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look, you don't have enough orthopedic problems. I know. Already, Chris. <laughs> I can. I can only go so far for so long. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Up next, we have the, the Whitman, Whitman Hanson, Hanson marching, marching band. band. Whitman Hanson High School marching band. Uh -oh. Panthers, uh-oh, they're uh -oh. gonna lose their banner. Should, should right. I help them put it back Maybe on? Maybe fix it? We can, we can fix that, we can We, can we have the technology. Here. There you go, there we go. There we go. All the way down, there you go. You're good. They have the Whitman Hanson Dry Regional High School Marching Band. The Panther Band. Just... Kev, I hope that microphone's still working. I didn't see it fall uh, down. I think or people anything. at home are probably help, hoping that it doesn't. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, Whitman Hanson High School Marching Band, the Panthers. What's next, Kev? Anderson Landscape, is that who that is? This is the Anderson Landscaping, Chris. Wow, a very well decked out. Lights going, pot of gold on the roof. Now, based on how many landscaping uh, companies are here, we should have like the like the nicest yards. I know. Say, Happy St. Patrick's Day. They do a great job as well as rest. All of them do great. You know, obviously all work very hard. It's a nice. I like that. You know, little the spread has got some flowers. Wheelbarrow's got a pot of gold. Oh, I like it. A little imagination there by Anderson. Bubbles everywhere. Nourish your pet. Nourish your pet. Yeah, on uh, 340 Essex Street in Whitman, Mass. Tuesday to Friday, 10 to 6, and Saturdays, 9 to 4. Nourish your pet. I'm not sure, Kev, but this might be the man himself, St. Patrick. Saint, is this St. Patrick? I believe. He, the moment we've all been waiting he's for. He's flying high. Looks like he's uh, doing a little rearranging there. He is. His beard's blowing in the wind, Kev. Uh-oh, they got the, the drone there, so we've got some up-close, like, pitches Matt, there. Matt Nelson getting right up yeah, close on St. Patrick himself. St. Patrick? Not sure who's driving St. Patrick today. Look at that. Let's go interview St. Patrick, Kev. Okay, go ahead. You go up. I know you did a great job. St. Patrick, great to see you again. Happy St. Patrick's Day, sir. Oh, thank you for saying that. <laughs> How's your day going so far? Very good. Congratulations you, once again. From Abingdon Center to the Boulevard, it was warm. It was nice. The Boulevard is cold with really? the wind coming. Enjoy your day, St. Patrick. I'm doing the best I can. Congratulations I'm, once I'm again. I'm losing my beard. <laughs> I kept my hat. See you soon. I kept my head. <laughs> it is St. Patrick. Thank you. Thank you, Sable. We got the parade marshals here. The, the wind is killing him. There's Bob Manning. I hear Bob Manning's voice. I hear Bob Manning coming up. There's KK Riley. <laughs> Jeff Welch. Hey, hey Jeff, how we doing? Hello, Mr. Manning. Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Okay. Jeff, how we doing? We do have. Uh, well, that's the end of our. 
<laughs> Division four, Kev, oh, yeah, so I know it. Like we only have one. Here. We only have a couple of things left here. Well, because you got the, uh, the politicians. Politicians are coming up the field. Again, Monday, April 3rd, 7 p.m., Abington High School Auditorium is the uh, annual town Absolutely. meeting. Absolutely. And I'm going to, while we have a moment to break here, I'm going to read Sean's message to us. Uh-oh, there's a message? Yes. He's probably live streaming this. I, I told, I, he's on the plane doing that. Elections are on Saturday, April 29th. There are races for the school. Uh, school committee, planning board, and selectmen. The, up this year, uh, running this year for selectmen are Alex Bizanson, Kevin Donovan, and Suzanne DeJustberg. Ah. Thank well, you all very to much. All everyone. Appreciate that they are running for office. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, Thanks for taking care of the know. town of Abington. I know. First up, Allison, we have Allison, Allison Sullivan, Sullivan Almeida. Right. State rep. Congratulations. I didn't know that she was uh, got married. She got married. I did yeah. not either. So congratulations to Allison on that news. <laughs> and then after that, we have Nicole Emery, who's running for school committee. Uh-huh. There we go. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all. Well, it was a, it was a fun year here, Chris, and uh, it's appreciate been a, all that uh, Kevin Tachi, Matt Nelson, and Matt Lyons did for Allison. us here, as well as Happy St. Patrick's Day, Allison. As well as all the judges here, the parade marshals did a great job. It's been a blast, it's as always, Kev. Really, it's uh, it's not something I don't look forward to. I, I really know. have a blast coming so out for this. Here we go. We've got Nicole Emery, Nicole Emery. for school committee. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hey, happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh. Cool little slingshot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. <laughs> and that's Maria Gentile, a Corvette. Oh, look at that vet. Nice. What is that, like a, a little 60? Uh, split window, 63. 63, 63, 63 yeah, split wow. window. Those are very rare. Modified. Happy St. Patrick's Happy Day Saint Patrick's from Day. Abington Animal awesome. Hospital. Jack Curtin. Nice. You know, look that that That's may nice. be the end of our day, That's Kev, because here comes so Abington Police. As we put this St. Patrick's Day in the books, just another great year and great work by Jack Bailey and the whole crew here. But I, I got to imagine that Guthrow's once again is going to hold on to the array. I've got the police here. Uh, Mr. Walsh, bringing up going the by. End. So, but thank you, Chris, for joining us. Kev, thank you all for thank Kevin you. Tachi and Kevin Tachi, Matt Nelson. Matt Nelson, and Matt Lyons. Thank you all very much for putting this together. Jack Bailey, congratulations once again. You hit a home run. Thanks all. Happy St. Patrick's Happy Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone.